what you're about to see is nothing that you should ever try doing yourself. I repeat, do not try any of the harebrained things I do. Don't ever do it! The Louisiana Bayou. It's just about the wildest rough and tumble place you'd ever care to see. Ah, here we go! And that suits Shelby the Swamp Man just fine. After bouncing back from a nasty stretch of bad luck, Come on, TV. he came back to help others while helping himself. Here we go. Oh, we got it that time, Jerry. Oh, oh, here we go. Along the way, he did what he does best. It's a giant acre. Finding hidden treasure. You gotta know what you're doing if you wanna find treasure in the swamp. Not everyone can do what I do. And word of Shelby's big score spread through the swamp like green grass through a goose. Let's go get it! Now, a pair of young treasure hunters are following in Shelby's footsteps. Pure evidence, we're in the right location. With an eye towards uncovering the long lost loot of one of the Bayou's most infamous outlaws. Look, look, the treasure's gotta be close. This is the story of how one swamp hero Sparked a quest to find the lost treasure of a true Louisiana legend. Told you to find gold. Deep in the bayous of southern Louisiana. The whole swamp's been a buzzing over Shelby's big find. You never know what you can find in the swamp, Junior. I bet every treasure hunter's gonna come out here and think they can strike it rich. Shelby ain't no fool. Cause that's exactly what's been happening. And now two young guns are looking to track down their own piece of swamp history. Hey, Brandon, see these cypress trees up here? I think this is the spot where Shelby found that anchor. Okay? That's why we should start looking. My name's Andre Brunet, and I've spent the last 20 years hunting treasure. Let's keep a close eye out and see if we can't spot anything from the canal. Some of the things I find are, are stories that have never been told. Oh, my god. Sometimes you find things that haven't seen the light of day in 150 years. Look what I just found. Once you start treasure hunting, you get obsessed. Hey, we need to stay away from here. It's getting real shallow over here. My name's Brandon Lamb and I live for adventure. Whether it's skydiving, scuba diving, you name it. If there's adventure in it, I want a piece of it. Over the years, these boys have garnered a reputation for hard charging and pushing to the limit. There's no stopping me and Andre. There's nothing we won't do. Oh, boy. And there's no places we won't go. We're out there to win it, not lose. Right on the money! <laughs> Dude, we got it! But right now, they're facing their biggest test yet. Trying to track down the lost treasure of one of the Bayou's most elusive criminals, legendary train robber Eugene Bunch. In the late 1800s, Bunch wreaked havoc on the Louisiana railroads, making off with a fortune in stolen jewelry and money. But he wasn't no ordinary outlaw. He was a former school teacher and newspaper editor who turned to a life of crime and became known as the Gentleman Train Robber. Bunch was shot and killed just days after his biggest heist, and the hunt's been on for his final haul ever since. When Bunch was captured by the agents and killed, they didn't find any of the treasure on him. He had two pistols, a padlock, and some keys. None of his men got away with money. There's no documents saying that they recovered any of the money. So I think Bunch's treasure is still somewhere out there. Hey, look at that. Warning, trespassers will be shot. Well, that ain't very friendly. No, no. 
We're gonna start on the Tangipahoa because my dad told me stories for years and years about Eugene traveling those waterways in his own dugout, hauling treasure back and forth at night. It's a perfect place to start. I think this is where we should get out and look around. Ah! A damn car, man! Now the Swamp Man has a nose for treasure like a bloodhound's got a nose for varmints. And over the years, he's found more than his fair share of the Bayou's storied past. That's a kill of a boat. Look how big this old bitch here was. But finding treasure in these parts ain't no cakewalk. See anything? I'm not seeing anything. Brandon and Dre are searching on the water. In the water. What nothing? even on dry land. And we're just looking for maybe something that signified where he would where he would bury his treasure at. So maybe there was a, a big tree we can look on there, or maybe a dock. Or if they had a house along the bank here, I'll never come to the shore and check it out. I'm out here, I'm looking for uh, bricks, boards, anything used to build the foundation of a house. These boys have combed everywhere, but this treasure ain't giving itself up easy. Nothing out here. Am I getting any evidence of nothing? After a full day of scouring, ain't no sign of Eugene Bunch or his famous lost bounty. This is a complete bust. The Tangipahoa was a bust. I mean, at least we marked it off of our list, but we didn't find anything. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. We need to regroup and find somebody else who knows a little bit more about Eugene Bunch that can help us out. So far, these boys are stuck like a turtle on a fence post. So they're going to try to get unstuck by paying a visit to one of the best resources in the bayou. We're here about Eugene Bunch. Well, I've been researching him since 1988. I got a lot of things to tell you and show you. Awesome. Let's go have a look. Let's go look. Let's go. Look at this. Look, this is a scraping tool. Professor Sam Hyde knows more about every tall tale in the swamp than just about anyone. Look at that. Found something cool. And he's even teamed up with the swamp man a time or two. Hold up. Did you go to college? Yes, many colleges, yes. So how much do y'all know about Eugene Bunch? Well, I researched a little bit of it, but if you want to just start from the beginning. Well, Bunch is a very colorful figure, and as you can imagine, everything surrounding him is layered upon layered upon with myth and legend. But what is certain is that he was an extraordinarily interesting guy. Now, Bunch wasn't always a criminal. In fact, he was far from it. He was a pillar of the community, family man, and decorated Confederate soldier. This is a guy that comes out of the war with a very good reputation and was highly regarded. He goes over to Texas and serves as a county clerk where he's reelected a couple of times before he steals the treasury there, abandons his family, and takes off he and starts a life of crime. Oh, yeah. He gets a taste of that criminal behavior, likes it, and completely transforms his life and turns into one of the most notorious train robbers in American history. So he goes from being a teacher to a, a train, train robber. Train robber, if yes, you will. and murderer. So all, he killed people. Money. Yes. He's not just stealing the money that's on the trains, but he was also relieving people of their gold watches and stuff like that. He gets this reputation as being the gentleman train robber because he was a lady killing good looking right. man you know who he would flirt with the ladies and be very polite to them then put a gun on the man and steal everything he's got in fact we've got a strong box down in the archives that is very similar to the type that he would have been busting into really? if you want to take a look let's do it so this is the archives and right here what this is is actually uh, a railroad express box. This is exact period when Bunch was operating, at 1880s and 1890s. Right. It's a perfect treasure chest. 
We know that in some of the robberies he committed, he was known to have taken some of these out. So things like this, you know, you want to be looking for that. And if it's been like out in swampy conditions and everything, the wood, of course, may diminish and degrade and everything, but you can certainly find the metal parts like that. Professor, do you have any information to better locate the treasure and where we could start to find it? All right, well, there, there, there are a couple of places that, that I would look if I were you, okay? We know that he hid out a lot in the Pearl River Swamp. And let me tell you what, it's, it's rough out there, okay? That was a region that, you know, during the Civil War, deserters from both armies hung out because it was so hard for people to come after you. The Pearl River Swamp was the rumored location of Bunch's hideout, where he planned his schemes and heists, and maybe even stashed his loot. That would be the first place I would start. Another good spot would be the last big train robbery and towards the end of his career. Bunch's last big job was thieving a train out of New Orleans. The monster score was never recovered, and it's putting dollar signs in these boys' eyes. There's yet one other good spot, about 16 miles east of Franklinton, near where he was finally killed. Bunch went down with his boots on, and his last haul could be near where he walked his final footsteps. And they said it was in a hollow in the ground, so you're talking some rolling type hills in that area, suggesting this is out of the swamp on higher ground, about 16 miles from Franklinton. Well, he just said a mouthful. Let's go start digging. Professor, thank you very Pleasure much. Pleasure chatting with you. Appreciate it. Awesome man. Good luck to you. Armed with the roadmap from the professor, Brandon and Dre are ready to hit the trail harder than a snapping turtle's bite. The information that Professor High got us is amazing. This is it. This is what I've came here to do. And when I find Bunch's treasure, I know it's going to pay off. We're finding all of it, brother. <laughs> Every bit of it. We have to come up with a plan, and hopefully, Strike the mother load. Let's go get it. Let's go get the money. Let's go. Down in the Louisiana Bayou. Gonna get it now. Shelby the Swamp Man's been lending a helping hand to his swamp friends and neighbors. Here we come. Get out the way. And working to rebuild his kingdom. It looks like the Swamp Man is back. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go! It's the giant anchor. Along the way, he fetched a score that sent tongues a-wagging like a pack of hungry dogs at a burger-eating contest. There's treasure in the swamp that's hundreds of years old. You just gotta know where to look. <laughs> Not everyone can do what I do. Now, two local fellers are getting in on the action. And they're hot on the trail of train robber Eugene Bunch and his legendary lost loot. We know that he hid out a lot in the Pearl River Swamp. That would be the first place I would start. The boys have narrowed their search down to three spots. And today, they're saddling up to track down the first, the location of Bunch's hideout, where he planned his dirty deeds and hopefully stash his bounty. Now looking for treasure in the swamps like trying to find a needle in the world's muddiest haystack. So this is the beast. This is the beast, buddy. Let's see it. So to take on the bayou, they're going big. Whoa! Are you kidding me? With a high horsepowered, mud churning, swamp tackling monster they've deemed the beast. We're getting all the treasure on this sucker. This is a monster. We're going to hook it up with some metal detecting equipment. We're going to turn this thing into a metal detecting machine. We'll basically have about an eight foot span that we're going to cover right behind this thing. We just do a few modifications. We'll strap one detector here and then put another one here. OK. We'll take the big disc and put it here about a foot off the ground. OK, yeah. I'm going to attach an arm to the back of the ATV, and it's actually going to shoot a pulse down three foot into the ground. So everything we pass over, I'll know which below us. Awesome. No one else has equipment like this, buddy. Nobody. Nobody. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Time's money. That's it, and we don't have any of it. The boys are taking a page out of the Swamp Man's playbook. Get me a 
Over the years, Shelby's built more crazy contraptions than a boar's got fleas on his behind. And of course, nothing could beat his legendary Leviathan. Okay, he just said it where you want it. Right here will be perfect. Now the beast may not be no 40-ton behemoth like Shelby's big toy. <laughs> I'm liking it. But Brandon and Dre hope this four-wheeler will drive them straight to riches. Let's see what she'll do. All right, Brandon. And now it's time to see if this dog will hunt. All right. Okay, you're breaking boundaries now. I just want to be safe. No color the fish for nothing. To comb through this swamp and try to find Bunch's hideout, Brandon and Dre got plenty of square miles to tackle. And it's some gnarly terrain to boot. The beast, by far, one of the best options we could have done. It's rough. It's tough, and it's full of power. Let's go get it! We had attached two metal detectors to either side of the four-wheeler. That way, we cover uh, a huge wingspan while we're treasure hunting. Oh, right there, right there! Right there. And quicker than a jackrabbit on wedding night. Seems the beast could already be paying off. It's right here. What do you think? They had to have something here. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing? Hang on, hang on. Let me check. Well? Still nothing. Man, damn. Now, sometimes when you're trying to go big, you hit a few snags along the way. Hey! And that's even true for the Swamp Man. You need to relax a little bit. Don't let it get to you. We can fix it. Oh, yeah, we can fix it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, we can fix it all right. Oh, no. But that don't stop him from doing whatever he's got to do to get the job done. I don't know. I mean, they have ghost signals that go off. We'll just have to find another spot. Yeah, I'm not stopping here. And it ain't going to stop these boys, neither. All right. Let's go get it. Let's go. Let's go get it. We're driving around for like an hour, and we're getting signals. But when we stop and dig, there's nothing there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Right, this has got to be some coins. Man, I freaking hope so. We got something. Yeah, I heard it. I heard yeah. the beat. Still nothing. Keep getting ghost signals, you know? So far, the boys are finding plenty of ghosts, but they haven't scared up any treasure yet. You got that probe? Yeah, right here. See, I got metal detected right there, but nothing right here. See, look. There's our ghost reading. Way too close to the four-wheeler. We have to come up with a different plan. Damn. The beasts in need of some serious tinkering if it's gonna be the mean machine they need. So for now, there's only one way to search the swamp, and that's putting boots to mud. Seems like the right area, the right location for what we're doing. Real soft, damp ground. With treasure hunting, you will be disappointed 99% of the time, but there's that one day that it changes your life. I think if Bunch had his stash out here, he would have it maybe in one of these oh, clearings. Man, I found something. What you got, Brandon? I think I've got something oh. over here. Holy crap.
in the deepest stretches of the Louisiana Bayou. Oh, there he is! Oh, here we go! Shelby Stanga set off a treasure hunting frenzy. That's a big one, ain't it? When he pulled one heck of a score out of the muddy waters. I've always been good at finding treasure, but there's plenty more I ain't found. Who knows what the next big find's gonna be? Now, two young guns are hot on the trail of one of the Bayou's most storied mysteries, the lost treasure of gentleman train robber Eugene Bunch. I think if Bunch had his stash out here, he would have it maybe in one of these clearings. Andre, I found something! And after scouring the grounds of Bunch's rumored hideout, they may have sniffed up something good. Who's that? That's, that's gotta be something. Let me see it. Here. That's old brick. Now there ain't no buildings around these parts for miles. So to treasure hunters like Brandon and Dre, this could be a piece of the puzzle they've been looking for. This is high enough ground, so might have had a stash house here. I think we're in the right place. Let's uh, grid off this whole area mm -hmm. and we'll search this place real hard. All right. Well, the, the, there's a couple of places that, that I would look if I were you, OK? Now it ain't no surprise the professor's tips might be paying off. This is just absolutely wild. Here Maybe you go, catch! Why, when he hunted with the Swamp Man, they uncovered some of the bayou's hidden gems. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look up and down. Oh, my god. I got to look at this better. You know, notice how the eyes are shaped? See, that's Asian in design. That's remarkable. It might have been King Tut. The boys think they may be on top of Bunch's secret hideout, but one brick does not a hideout make. So Brandon and Drail canvass the swampy grounds for more proof. Oh, that sounds like a good hit. I got a good signal right here. Do you? Yeah. It's a nail. So that's probably what they were using to frame that stash house? Maybe so. Let me check the plug just to make sure. Another nail. Another nail. Wait a minute, it's not a nail. This was laying here, this was right here underneath it. And look at this. Perfect fit. Look at that. So what is that? It's a drawing compass. A drawing compass lets you judge distance on a map, which could have been used by generals or anyone trying to judge distance for right-of-ways, waterways, or even railroads. But Eugene was a smart guy. He was a teacher. So he could have definitely used it to plan his robberies for all these trains. This is a really cool find, but I don't think this is the spot where Eugene Bunch was burying his treasure. Now these boys have turned the Pearl River Swamp upside down, and they might have found the site of Bunch's hideout and even where he planned his heist. But there still ain't no sign of the stolen valuables. So. So they'll take what they've learned and map out their next step. All right. The Tangipahoa River didn't give us anything, OK? So I'm going to cross that out. Right. We don't need to go back there for sure. Around this location right here was where Eugene had his stash house. Right. Another location that Professor Hyde gave us was here where Eugene Bunch's last heist took place. Right. And he could have possibly dropped something alongside the railroad. Right. So basically, we need to find train tracks. All right. Brandon and Dre think they're on the scent. And they're heading to the site of old Eugene's last big train robbery to see if they can unearth some of his lost haul. Just keep your eyes peeled for any signs of where the railroad would have been. Now the train bunch hit was no run-of-the-mill locomotive. This was one of them high-dollar jobs, carrying folks in the high tax bracket out of New Orleans. 
But that old train stopped running years ago. So finding them tracks is going to take more than a little doing. Judging by this big hill right here, I think this might have been right where it passed at. Brandon, I, I don't see any pieces of the railroad, though. Keep your eyes peeled to see I'm if you can find a peeled, piece buddy. of it. We're going to try to find the railroad tracks, and we're going to follow the tracks to where he perpetrated the robbery. What's this here? Put some muscle to it. <laughs> is that a piece of the track? It sure is. Yeah, that's a whole piece of the track. Pure evidence. We're in the right location. Yeah, all right. Let's move out and see if we can't find anything else. Let's go. This track led Bunch to his biggest haul ever. And the boys are hoping it does the same for them. I don't know what type of clues we'll find, but when we follow the tracks, we'll be following the footsteps of Eugene. Follow the train tracks. All right. And maybe we'll find a clue that no one's ever found before. We're on the right track. And I mean train track. Look, it clears up here. Clearly. This is where the uh, train tracks ran. Right. Eugene went from being a school teacher to a train robber because he caught the fever. You know, if he was running with a bunch of loot, something could have just popped out, a coin or, you know, some jewelry. The same fever that everyone that's a treasure hunter catches. But it wasn't about the money. It was about the adventure and the thrill. And that's why he could never stop. <laughs> Well, that's a good hit. I have a great signal. It's repetitive. Same number, same sound, over and over. All right, let's pull it up. Try and pop this out. There you go, buddy. Oh, look, there it is, there it is. What is it? What is it? No way. I told you to find gold. Down in the Louisiana Bayou. Oh, there he is. Oh, here we go. Shelby Stanga spawned a treasure hunt throughout the swamp. And two young guns have been on the trail of Eugene Bunch's lost loot. Might have had a stash house here. I think we're in the right place. So far, they found possible clues to his hideout. Pure evidence. Yeah, that's a whole piece of the track. And traces of the old railroad where he pulled off his last and biggest score. Right there. But so far, no signs of treasure. Oh, look, there it is, there it is. But that could be a changing. What is it? What is it? Told you to find gold. No way. It's gold plated. This well, is gold plated. Yeah, gold plated watch face. This could be something he stole off of one of the passengers. We found it. Pocket watches were really common back then, but to have a gold one, you had some money. There's more tall tales in the swamp than there are flies a buzzing. But the legend of the gentleman train robber's lost treasure might be coming true right before the boy's eyes. I am excited because I know we're on the right track. So let's go, uh, let's move out and see if we can't find anything else. Okay. Treasure hunting and the way I, I treasure hunt is definitely a game of patience. Now the watch could be a piece from Bunch's big haul. But after more searching. Nothing out here. Am I getting any evidence of nothing? Ain't no more treasure to be found around these parts. All right, let's roll. Let's get out of here. I know we're close. We're just not there yet. So they'll move on to the final spot on their list, and it's a doozy. Legend has it 
Bunch was killed on the banks of the Bogue Cheeto River. So somewhere in these acres is where the gentleman train robber met his maker. And hopefully for Brandon and Dre, the treasure wasn't too far from his side. But there's miles of hollows to cover. And it's mud filled and then some. This is definitely the worst terrain for sure. Now, unfriendly terrain never stopped the swamp man when he was a hunting treasure. Whoa, Joe. <laughs> I can't touch Bob. Really? You didn't? Hell no, it's, it's not eight, nine foot deep like that. And it ain't gonna slow these boys down neither. That was freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go a little bit further. And they're bringing their secret weapon back out to get the job done. How's he looking, Brandon? Getting a little wet, but it's okay. So far, so good. Now, the beast didn't fare too well on its maiden voyage. But Brandon's put his thinking cap on. The solution I came up with was a PVC sled. It's going to pull the metal detector and won't give no more false readings. This one's going to work. We go a little bit further. If we find Eugene Bunch's lost stash, it'll change history. It'll change my life and Brandon's life for sure. I will not rest until we uncover Eugene's treasure. Hey, I got something. Kill it. Check everything. Might have to dig a little deeper. You get nothing so far. No beeps or nothing. Hold up. Oh, oh. Okay. I found something right here. Let me here. see. Right there. Okay. Here it is. What is it? Oh, it's a bullet. Oh, cool. It's an old bullet. Look. Check this out. Mysteries always surrounded Bunch's demise. The authorities claim they tracked him down and got him good. But a rumor his accomplice did the deed to collect the reward money has been running through the swamp for over a century. But the boys ain't hunting for no bullets. They've got their eyes squarely on the prize. And while the beast is making quick work of these hollers, Brandon and Dre still got miles yet to cover. We getting any beeps yet? Let's come back this way. I had, I think I had a beep back this way. We gotta at least be close. Come straight back over that spot. The thing I love the best about treasure hunting, it's the biggest high you'll ever have. I'm getting a hit right here. Getting a hit? Yeah. As soon as you flip that piece of dirt over, sometimes it's the you're the first person to see that object in 200 years. You'll you'll never feel that same way ever again. Right here. What? What is it? I don't know. Let me see it. Are you serious? It's just a piece of metal. It's just a piece of iron. No, it's not, dude. This is a lot. No, it's not. Yes, this is, dude. This is a lot. Are you kidding me? Here, hold it, hold it. I'm going to clean it I off. cannot believe it. Now, this lock could be exactly what the professor told them to keep their eyes peeled for. We know that in some of the robberies, he was known to have taken some of these out, and they later found them smashed apart. But you can certainly find the metal parts. And it could be from the lockbox Bunch made off with, with his final and biggest heist. Holy crap. We could be right where the treasure is. We got to search this whole area. They got to have more stuff here. I agree. We'll get a full assault on this property right now. We're going to find it. Everything we got. The boys are on a roll like butter. 
At the Pearl River Swamp, they found possible traces of Bunch's hideout. They followed the train tracks of his last robbery, and in the hollers, they might have uncovered the closest connection to Eugene's treasure yet. Now, this could be the gold mine Brandon and Dre were hoping for, but it goes on for miles, and every nook and cranny ain't exactly listed on a map. So to chart out the best route to try and tackle it, the boys are bringing out the biggest weapons they've got in their arsenal. In the swamp, you don't even get to play in the sandbox if you don't go big. So to map out the haulers and the edge of the boat Cheeto just right, the boys are ditching their four-wheeler and heading for the skies. To get this big job done, they've enlisted their buddy and swamp expert, Lane Jr., to man the airboat. Hey, that's my dad, here he comes. And his pappy and ace pilot, Lane Sr., to fly the seaplane up above. Sweet, let's do this, let's get the show on the road. You're gonna be the eyes in the air. I'll be here on the ground. We're right on the Bogachita Swamp area. Well, these are the canals that Eugene Bunch would take. Today's the day. I believe the only way to find Eugene's treasure is to walk in his final steps to the place where he died. And that's just what these boys are gonna do. Now, when you got miles of ground to cover looking for treasure, it's always best to get one of them bird's eye views. If it's in this lake, I'll find that boat. It may take me a little while, but I'll find that boat. Man, Lord <laughs> Willie's in the boat. And no one knows that better than the swamp man himself. Yeah, the damn boat's drifting away with Willie in it. Especially if you're trying to find something that means the world to you. Hope the marshal back there find that boat. It all drove it home. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Thank God, all the right. boat. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Willie. And just like the swamp man, Brandon and Dre are hoping to find something that could mean the world to him too. And high up in the skies, Brandon might have found something peeking out from down below. He said it's back here, about half a mile back. Okay, let's turn around, go get it. I think I know exactly what this is. Deep in the Louisiana swamp, the boys are scouring the Boat Cheeto River, tracing the final footsteps of a Bayou legend, gentleman train robber Eugene Bunch. And with the help of a state-of-the-art jet boat and some friends in high places, right here, they've uncovered something that got Dre's heart a pounding. Oh my God! What is it, Lane? I think I know exactly what this is. Ooh, I'm so pumped. We'll pull this thing out of the mud. 
I could tell something was back here, but I don't know. It just looks like a piece of wood to me. Yeah, but look, see it? See the tip, how it's carved? Yeah. This is a dugout. Easy does it. I got you. Yeah, here, grab my horn. Grab my horn. Back in Bunch's day, there weren't no jet boats or yachts. In these parts, if you wanted to get around fast, you built yourself a dugout. A small, lightweight canoe dug right out of a tree. Swing it closer, and we'll pull it up on the boat. It wasn't fancy, but for a train robber on the run, it more than did the trick. These are the same bayous that Eugene Bunch used. The swamp is right over there. The hollows are not far. This is the exact is kind exactly of boat. Exactly. Get out. I'm telling you. Just like Shelby done when he found that three-ton anchor. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have this here for the general public to look at. Brandon and Dre might have uncovered a genuine piece of Louisiana history and a slice of their swamp heritage. We're on it. Look at this thing. We're this close to finding Eugene's treasure. This is the spot. The treasure's got to be close. Get out of the way! When Shelby came roaring back to help his neighbors and regain his crown as king of the swamp, he also lit off a treasure hunting boom. <laughs> that ain't got it. Inspired by the swamp man himself, Brandon and Dre set off a searching for the lost loot of gentleman train robber Eugene Bunch. Might have had a stash house here. As they crisscrossed the bayou, pure evidence. This is a lot. They found a heap of clues and artifacts. Let's go get it. It's a watch face. It's gold-plated. And more than proved their hunting metal. And for these boys, it's only the beginning. I will not rest until we uncover Eugene's treasure.